Today, while I was practicing, I was using, of course, the practice perfect method. And the phrase in this came up and it caused me to hesitate. I drilled it a few times, restarted the dictation, and it caused me to hesitate again. Sometimes I would drop, sometimes I would drag letters, drop, le drop letters. Other times I would stack on top of the next word. And that's when I realized that I actually have a problem with this as a right hand phrase ender. I had, I had a weakness in my theory with that concept. So what I did was I stopped the dictation and I went to my theory book. I went to the chapter that explains how to use this as a right hand phrase ender and I actually studied that chapter in that section. Studied it as if I had never been introduced to that concept before. Once I was satisfied with how I studied it, the next thing I did was I used a file. It's the top 1000 phrases by Mark Kislingberry and Clay Frazier. And I did a search in the file for all the words, for all the phrases that use this as a right hand phrase ender. And I wrote them down in my notebook. I came up with 28 phrases. And then what I did was I went down the list of those phrases one by one and just drilled them. Just kept going up and down, up and down to the point where I was satisfied. Uh, one thing that I did do is, and I could show you the notebook right here. Um, what I did was I would go, let's say in this period, of this period, on this period, and I, the reason I did that was just so that my finger is not just staying on the on the same key combination because I'm trying to really master that key combination and that concept. So after I did that and after I was satisfied with practicing that list, the next thing I did was I created finger drills. And the reason I created finger drills was because I noticed that not so much that the concept was a problem. I mean, yes, it was. Yes, it was a difficulty for me. But I was also having problems with the key combination itself. My dexterity wasn't that great when it came to it. And so I made finger drills so I could, that focused on that key combination. That way I could eliminate any hesitation and increase my control. So whenever that key combination comes up, it'll be natural for me to just hit it. And I practiced that drill after I made it. I practiced it to the point where I was satisfied. And then I just left and went home. <laughs> and uh, stopped my practice session then. But the point is, I didn't continue my dictation practice. Uh, once I realized that I had a difficulty with something that was basic, something that is fundamental, I realized that's more important than practicing dictation. It's very, very crucial that we as stenographers have our theory mastered and every concept mastered. So the conclusion I came to, the revelation I had, is that whenever we as stenographers are practicing in order to improve our skill, whenever we see, whenever we come across a word or phrase that causes us to hesitate, to drop, whatever, causes any form of difficulty, most of the time it's not just that one word or that one phrase. Usually the problem runs deeper. And if you realize that the problem runs deeper, we have to fix that. You have to fix that. You have to go back to the fundamentals and actually master that concept. So what I would do is, like I explained, is go back to the book, go back to your theory book, study that book, study that chapter, study that concept as if it was the first time you've ever been introduced to it. Then find high frequency words that are part of the same concept. Practice those, drill those, 
And if you realize that it's a dexterity issue after all that, create finger drills or find finger drills that emphasize that key combination. Now, another thing I would suggest is the next day and maybe two or three days later again is go through that chapter, go through that concept for a little bit. It doesn't have to be forever. It could be five minutes. Maybe go through the list if you feel the need. Uh, but definitely, definitely, definitely do the finger drills. Do the finger drills. Do the finger drills. Do the finger drills for as long as it takes. It could take a few days. It could take a month. But do them on a daily basis to the point where you are gracefully moving from one combination to the next combination without any errors, without any hesitation to perfection to perfection. So I hope this helps. I am going to practice right now and I hope you will too. And I really appreciate you watching. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to comment and feel free to subscribe. Bye.